In this video, we're talking lasers. Stay tuned. So a couple months ago, I was creating some projects for Christmas, um, for Mother's Day this last month, and I was using my CNC router to create text, very small text. Um, and it was turning out okay, but I was getting a lot of fuzzies um, inside the text. And I'm not sure if that's because of the router bit I was using or the feet and speeds. It just it didn't seem very clean. So in the meantime, I was researching desktop lasers. And um, I came across this one from Two Trees. It's a TTS 55. And I saw a review, a couple review videos. Um, one was from Build Dad Build. And he did a great job at assembling and reviewing this product. And I thought it looked like a good laser that met my price point, um, which is $299 from the Two Trees website. And with a $30 promo code for Build That Build, you can knock $30 off of it. Um, <clears throat> but it could be expandable to a larger footprint. Um, at the time, they had a $50 expansion kit but now it's $90. So I might uh, look at some different options if I decide to upgrade the footprint to this. So we'll see. Another thing I like, I came across another YouTube video where they added limit switches to this, which I thought was great. Um, so in this video, I'm not gonna show you how to build it. Two Trees does a great job at that. Um, but what I am gonna do is build this off screen, come back and give you my thoughts, and I'm also gonna add the limit switches. These are $10 from Amazon. So let's get into building this. I'll come back and give you my thoughts. So on the control board of the Two Trees Laser, there are three ports, an X, Y, and Z for limit switches. And I'm just gonna utilize the X and Y. And I have to add new connections to my limit switches so they match up with the control board. Once I got those connections in, I'll dress up the wires a little bit, feed them through, add a zip tie, and then add the back to the housing of the control board. Makes it all nice and clean. Now that I got the laser all assembled, I'm doing some uh, test burns to see how it uh, performs. And so far it's looking pretty good. So that done, turned out pretty good. The lettering is very crisp. It looks like in the last cut it was trying to cut through and just couldn't quite get it because I've got a very thick material. All right, there is my tests. Um, this was the first one that was really dark. Um, then I lightened it up to 50%. Then I went to 60, 60, 65%. And I think this one's the best so far. Um, I'm gonna have to test it out with different woods different materials to see uh, the best settings I'll uh, make note of that there's a lot that I need to learn on this but so far I'm pretty happy with this uh, two trees laser so I'm gonna mount it to this board and I got made some 3d printed uh, parts that will uh, install and screw it to the board All right, so the idea for the um, limit switches came from the YouTube channel um, EC Treasure Hunters. Um, they showed how to do this on the previous generation of uh, the Two Trees laser. Um, this, this generation or this version um, now has a bracketing system that connects their wires or their 
electrical wire leads in through this um, flexible tubing. And this bracket that I got um, from their um, YouTube channel and their Thingiverse website just did not quite work um, with this because of the bracketing system. So I, I took their design, modified it a little bit, and um, now I'm able to bolt it down. The bracket that will now attach to the 3D printed piece and the limit switch is now be able to mount right here. Just adding a little double stick tape to uh, the limit switches so they can be mounted to those 3D prints. Um, should work pretty good. Now that I got the uh, 3D printed parts installed and the limit switches installed on those parts, I can go ahead and connect the wires from the control board to the limit switches. Now that I have the um, 3D prints made and installed on the laser and the uh, limit switches installed and plugged in, I'm gonna go over to uh, laser GRBL and connect to the laser. Um, now that it's connected, I can jog it around, um, make sure that it's working. All right, now to set the limit switches so they're on, when I hit the home button, I need to go over to uh, the GRBL on the settings and hit GRBL configuration. Now, the ones that I want are 21, 22, and 23. Um, for 21, we're going to change 0 to 1. For 22, we're going to change that one to 1 as well. And for homing direction, we're going to change this to 3. Now, I got these settings um, off of the EC Treasure Hunters website or YouTube channel, um, and they should work. So after you have those three changed, go ahead and hit Write. And it is successfully written to the laser board and we're going to hit close. All right, now we should be able to jog it around again still. Yep, still jogging. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the home button down here and it should home. And there we go. It's homed and ready to go. All right, let's go over this uh, Two Trees TTS 55 laser. So I've got everything put together. Um, I've done a couple test burns and it works fantastic as far as I can tell. This is my first laser. Um, so I don't have anything really to compare it to, but I can uh, speak to the build quality of the machine. Um, it's got aluminum rails, which is great. And all these other parts though are plastic and I don't see an issue with that because there's no load when it's running. It's just moving the head back and forth and burning. So I don't see an issue with the plastic parts. As I said previously, I added limit switches um, so it could home to the front corner. Um, I have some 3D printed parts that those limit switches are attached to. And I did find those on the EC Treasure Hunters YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below to, to that video. And it does home, and that's fantastic. Um, I did engrave a grid inside because I did attach it to the to this uh, baseboard, um, so I can gauge the size of my projects, and I can line it up in the software. Um, that's just the way I like to do things with the homing switches. Um, all right, so this laser is a little bit small compared to the other lasers, but. For the price point, it's not bad. Um, it's uh, 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters, which is roughly 11 and 7 eighths square. Um, Two Trees does offer an expansion kit to make the, the laser larger. Um, by that thing's $90. Um, it seems a little pricey to me. So something I wish that True Trees would offer is this kit already packaged with the expansion kit. Um, that way I'm not 
buying the expansion kit and just throwing all these rails away. I mean, I, I don't have any use for them after I expand it. Um, that's something I wish Two Trees would add um, to their lineup. Um, other than that, it works great. It's a fixed focus, so it has this little aluminum um, spacer that you dial down the laser to, and um, that works great. I don't have to worry about height. Um, I do have um, a learning curve on this. Um, I, the CNC part of it, not a problem. It's the laser part with the speeds and speeds and burning strength percentages. So um, it'll take me a while to figure that out, but I did get some good burns of my logo. All right, so we'll see uh, what happens with the future with this and see what kind of fun projects I can come up with. Um, so I'll see you next time here on Smedley Wood Design.